Welcome to another process video. Let me show you my process of using all the tiny little bits of fabric, yarn, threads, and making it into useful fabric. I'll put you closer so you can see. I got this fabric when I was left over from making a wreath that Aunt Beck showed us. I'll leave a link below. Oh Flo, I can see that you're joining in too. You're going to make some. Wonderful. So what I've done is I put the right, right side of the fabric out. So I'm going to cover this with the little bits and pieces. Now, you can use an old sheet. Use what you have. Oh, I just can't tell you how relaxing this part is, snipping the fabric. I'm separating out the little bits of wadding because they, they're not that decorative. I can use that for stuffing. Mm. Oh, it's just wonderful. And then when they're all cut up, I'm going to spread it over the fabric. That's it. That's the right side is outside. Spread it over. See if I've got enough. I might need to cut some more. We'll see. Hmm. I've never done such a big project before. Maybe if it's your first time, start small. I started small. I've got some gaps, so I think I'm going to going to cut some more. And then I've got the knitting or tulle. I don't know whether it's a whole piece. Let's see. And I'm going to put that over and pin it. You'll need some of this flow. There we are. Oh, lovely. Mm. Now it's all pinned. I need Serafina's help. Serafina? I rolled it up to bring it over here so it wouldn't all fall to bits. Now it's tempting to go all the way around the edge, but I found when I've done the little experimental ones that it's best to start in the middle. So let's pop that down and otherwise it gets a little bit rucked up. I'm just unfolding it. You can go fast or slow, or oh, I'm just moving things. It just depends how experienced you are. Unraveling it, unrolling it. Oh, look at that. Wonderful. Take that pin out there and then it's just a case of going over and over again and again. I think because it's big, I'm going to be keep rolling it until, yeah, keep rolling it until it becomes more secure because you're just going to go over this time and time again. So I'm going to pull it. That's it. Make sure the needle's down inside it before you. That's it. Move it round. Oh, lovely. And I'm going to do a bit more this time at at an angle. Pop the foot down. Smoothing it out as I go along. Now I've gone all up and down on it, it just makes it so much easier. I can just let the machine go for a walk. 
wonderful. I didn't make mine into a Christmas stocking. This one was made for me over 40 years ago, knitted. I've used it ever since. And I bought the boys from Woolworths, a sort of matching one. And I added the beard and the bells and their initials on it. I had to line it with an old pair of pyjamas as well. So yeah, they both got one of those. So let's see, I'm going to draw around just to get, just to get a rough stocking shape. Now I've got some, I've got the pattern, I've cut the stocking out and I've got another piece of the Christmas fabric. I'm going folding that right sides out, folding it in half and I'm going to cut a piece for the back. Quilter clip this together and I'm going to need Serafina's help again. Serafina? Thank you Serafina. I've gone for raw edges and I just folded it over and did a little bit of slow stitching like any stitch goes really round the edges and little button to put the hanger in. So yeah, it's lovely. I love it. Oh, I do enjoy using all those scraps. They do tend to get everywhere though. So I'll have to put a little sweep round in a minute. Thank you so much for spending this time with us today. <laughs> I do appreciate you. Oh, look at this. I have some happy mail from Jean Moran. Just look at this gorgeous collage. It's called Found Treasures by Jean Moran. And it's another way to use tulle or netting. She's put it over a paper collage. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful piece of mixed media art. Thank you, Jean. I love it. Absolutely love it. Ah, oh, I've got my cup of tea and my marmalade toast. <laughs> just having a little, just having a little snack time. <laughs> Shall we light the candle? Now, just like the candle, we all approach it in a different way. We're all unique <laughs> and we celebrate our uniqueness, don't we? It's just a little time for us to take a breath and a little moment and Think of ways to care for ourselves and also we've got other people on our hearts as well, haven't we? Take care, everyone. Bye. You're still all wet. <laughs> Here you go. 
evidently this is a mulberry tree and it's over 200 years old. Oh, wonderful, you've seen some changes here, haven't you? Oh. Oh, um, it's scraps of fabric. Oh, yeah, are they attached or bit. is it just... Um, no, 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 you just sew. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, little Fred wants to play ball. Where is that? Still pretty whimsical though. It is, yeah, it is. Yeah. I love whimsical. Yeah, nice. Thanks, Ben. Is this your stocking then? No, no, it's for no. someone else. Oh, right, yeah. okay. But they will have an overflow. <laughs> ben, favourite thing in Africa? Um... Oh, look at just that. a bit of B-roll, like Ben. Oh, no. Thank you.